Country. Brought to you in part by the Max Country Sports Boosters Club. Now, let's go to the court for all of the action. Well, welcome back to New York City Auditorium. We have pregame between for BDS and High Plains, a 5-12 matchup between the 9 and 7 BDS Eagles and the 5 and 8 High Plains Storm. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the York City Auditorium. I'm Chase Thompson. We're live here on 104.9 Max Country for boys action. This afternoon, we have all boys amongst five games being played on 104.9 here at the York City Auditorium and live on strive.tv backslash CRC who is partnering with us for the second year of the Crossroads Conference Term. So glad to be along with you all here on Max Country and Strive. Now let's look at this matchup between the BDS Eagles and High Plains Storm. It's a 5-12 matchup and like you usually see in March, the 5-12 matchups are very interesting and I think we got one this afternoon between the BDS Eagles and the High Plains Storm. The Eagles, again, 9-7. and seven. They played Exeter Milligan last night. Now, those results are not available online, but talking amongst the BDS fans that are sitting right behind me, they did defeat Exeter Milligan last night, a game that was supposed to be played on Thursday night, but postponed due to the weather conditions in the area on Thursday. A sloppy storm that came through the area. Got a lot of snow down this area over in Lincoln. Got mostly rain. High Plains just came out of their locker room. They're going to be wearing a road red uniform with white numbers for this game. BDS will be wearing their home whites with red with maroon numbers and black trim for this game. Let's talk about this Eagles team again. They're 9-7 this season. They finished second in the Mudcast B tournament. That was played down in Beatrice. That was last Saturday that actually finished up. That was They they made a run. I've seen them play once this year against the Nebraska Lutheran team. That is a sneaky, sneaky good team out of Waco. BDS handled them quick, and I think the battle is going to be down the post this game. Not seeing Tanner Bolte out on the floor for BDS. If he's out for this game, that's a huge loss for the Eagles. He just came out of the locker room, so that's big for BDS. He's one of those, I'll just say it, say it straight up, he's an offensive lineman that plays basketball, and he plays a lot like it as well. He's going to be big in that battle down the post between him and Carl Yurkowski will be really, really important to see who determines to see who wins this game between the Eagles and the Storm. A 5-12 matchup between a team that's 9-7 and 5-8. and eight. I don't think it's that way, and to be honest with you, I think these are two evenly matched teams looking up and researching this game going throughout the week. Again, the Eagles, 9-7. and seven. They're going to be led in scoring by Eli Weber. We'll be talking about him a lot. He averages around 10 points per game. He also averages five boards along with Zach Hoynes who averages five rebounds per game and roughly six points per game. Jaron Norder, the starting quarterback for the Eagles this past season, he averages nearly seven points per game this season. They averaged 46 points per game while allowing 42. They started out their season on a three-game winning streak. They are five, I mean, six and two versus CRC opponents after that win last night over Exeter Milligan. They're two, they're two and one in their last three I mean, one and two with that one win coming over Exeter Milligan. We're going to pause for a minute. When we come back, we'll continue along with pregame here on Max Country. This is Craig.
Biplanes here in the first round of the 2023 CRC. Chase Thompson on the call with you for this one. I'll be here for the next one between McCool Junction and Dorchester here on Max Country. Now this BDS team, they're just coming off a recent run to the finals. They lost to Osceola in 2021, 52-47. That would have been, I believe in Shelby. Yeah, that one would have been in Shelby as last year we were back at the York City Auditorium as the arena was going over renovations. Both teams are at their benches. They're about to go through starting the laps. We'll go ahead and follow them along. High Plains will be the first team announced. They are 5-8 and eight on the season. JT Ham is their coach. They're part of the same sub-district as BDS, along with McCool Junction and Shelby Rising City. Storm have not had much luck recently against the Eagles. 3-11 and 11 in the last few years against BDS and they're one and two in the CRC versus BDS. The Storm team started out the season on a six game losing streak. They're five and two since but their last game was a 46-58 loss to the Heartland Huskies. We're going to go to the starting lineup for High Plains tomorrow. Lisak will be in the starting lineup along with Hayden Hel Helgoth number 23 Brody Sperling and Aiden Hans and Carter Yurkowski will be in the starting lineup for the High Plains Storm. I know that's only four. We'll get the fifth one here for you here in a moment. BDS in their starting lineup will come out. Jaron Norder, followed by number 12, Zach Hoynes. Number 13, Cameron Hoynes. Number 22, Eli Weber. And number 23, Tanner Bolte. They are head coached by Dan Boshart. The Storm, JT Ham is their head coach. BDS will be going right to left on your radio dial as your home team this afternoon. High Plains will be going left to right. Trying to see the missing star that I missed for High Plains. I apologize for this. I have all of them. BDS will send Eli Weber into the center circle along with Carter Yurkowski. And we are underway in the second game of the 2023 CRC Live New York City Auditorium. Jared Norder will bring it up, hands it off to Cameron Hoynes, the man-to-man -man defense. Backside help, dump it to Eli Weber, gets foul going up for the shot. Brody Sperling, his first foul. So it's Brody Sperling out there along with Mario Lisak. First free throw is pure for Eli Weber. He gets scoring underway. One nothing is score. <coughs> Weber leading score on this team, nearly 10 points per game. Goes two for two from the free throw line. BDS is up two nothing early. So they're going to give it to in Hans actually. It's his first. Sperling hands it off to Lee Sack. He kicks it up to the top of the key. That's Hans. Hands it to Helgoth. Helgoth over to Lee Sack. It's man-to-man -man defense for the Eagles. Koski drives, tries to get it down. To Sperling goes off the hands of Sperling off his leg. That'll be back to the Eagles. 2-0. 40 seconds in it. 40 seconds into this one. So that coins in, bounds it. Jaron in order. Man-to-man. -man. For the storm, Bolte gets it, passes it over to Hoynes, who's at the left wing, back over the top of the key. It's Cameron Hoynes, Bolte now over to Zach Hoynes in the corner, in order right wing, drives once, kicks it over to Bolte, Bolte drives to the basket, backs, puts his back to the basket, it's over to Eli Weber, who floats it in. Eli Weber with quick four, makes it four nothing Eagles. Oh God, bring it up, hand it off to Sperling, Sperling. Rolls it kind of out of control, but he gets over to Mario Lisak. Get up his dribbles, his Hans. Gets it slapped away from him and stolen away by Zach Hoynes. Zach Zoynes has the Cameron Hoynes. He gets his shot blocked, and a foul is called on the back, so, on the back by the backside official. So it'll be two free throws upcoming for Cameron Hoynes. Or Yurkowski with his first second team foul for High Plains as we like to thank Shickley Grain, Jensen Lumber Company, it's towing for coming on board as Cameron Hoynes makes his first one. 
Bombsberger Welding, Cross Country Booster Club, Cossack Milling, Milligan Family Medicine, Nutrient Ag Solutions for coming on board. As Cameron Hollins goes two for two, BDS is four for four from the free throw line. It's six nothing. Eagles up early. Pass is handed to Sperling. Sperling gets it back to Yurkowski. He has it back to the basket now. Faces up. Floats toward the middle. This is the shot. Rebound caught by Weber. And here comes the Eagles. Quick up the floor. Looks like it's going toward Bolte and Cameron Hoynes. Nearly travels, but he steps on the baseline instead. So it'll be a turnover ball back to the storm. High plants looking to end a streak of six straight losses against the Eagles. Five and two since the beginning of the year. Last game was one of those losses against Heartland as Lisak kicks it over to Yurkowski. Hands it back to Helgoth. Helgoth waits for a couple players to clear through and will dribble to the top of the key. It's got it by Cameron Hoynes, skips it over to Hans. Hans goes right to the basket, out of control, gets shot up and will be going line for two after a blocking foul is called on BDS. It's on Zach Hoynes, his first, the first team foul. On BDS now, Aiden Hans goes to the free throw line. First free throw is pure. 6-1 is the score. We got 5.46 to go in this first quarter. Hans, by the way, they don't have the free throw numbers. What should they do as he goes 2-for-2 two two from the free throw line? Hans shoots 62% from the free throw line. 68, I beg your pardon. Three ball coming from Cameron Hoynes from the left wing. He missed. Rebound grabbed by Lisak. High plans to come out to make with an opportunity to make it a one possession game. Pass goes over to Hans. He's in trouble, gets it to Yurkowski. Yurkowski back over to Hans. Hans, step back jumper over in order. No good, rebound grabbed by Bolte on the backside. Gets it over to Zach Hoynes. Hoynes quickly up to Cameron Hoynes. He gets reached down from behind by Lisak. Skip over to corner three ball. Corner three from Jaron Nor and Jaron Nor hits the corner three to make it a 9-2 game with five minutes to go in this first quarter. Elgoth dribbles through, kicks it out to Lisak, who picks up his dribble. Now Yurkowski will start his possession from the right wing. Nope, they're gonna bail out to Helgoth. And Helgoth hands it to Lisak. A lot of passing happening from behind three-point line. No one really going in, but going to the basket, and getting it to go is Aiden Hans. Right, as I say, they weren't doing much inside the three-point arc. They slip through with Hans and get the basket to go, make it a five-point deficit. BDS up 9-4. Pass goes right down to Eli Weber, gets fouled and drains it. Eleven four to score. Four twenty to go in this first quarter. Fouls on Naden. Hans is second. A substitution came in for high points. Let's see who that is. JT Ham saying the sub. Now Eli Weber's at the line. Look at the finish, the old-fashioned three-point play, and he does. He already has seven. Chase Owens comes in. He's averaging 4.2 points per game. Coming into this one, he's the first one off the bench for the Storm. Pest goes through the hands of the Lisak. Picks up his dribble, gets it back. Gets fouled, going after a shot, and we go on the line for two. And second on BDS. It's on Cameron Hoynes' is first. That's the line, goes Mario Lisak. Nice shock, I beg your pardon. So I thank Heritage Realtors, Carrie's Restaurant and Catering, Edgewater Insurance of Shelby, as the first free throw is no good. Crossroads Awards, Perennial Public Power District. Grand Central Foods as Seth Stengel comes in for the Eagles. Stutzman Interiors, Annie Jeffrey Hospital, Edgewater Insurance in Osceola, and Fillmore County Hospital for coming on board the 2023 CRC. It's Lisa. Makes the second one. He has his first point in the game. Brings it back with that seven. Skip pass out from the order. Sangle, three ball. Off from the rim. Bolte gets the board. Gets the slap from him. Gets the shut up, though. Miss on the backside. Rebound cleared out by High Plains. Elgoff brings it up. They're down seven with 3.45 to go in the quarter. 
Sperling. It's Yurkowski. Yurkowski doesn't even have a shot yet. Lisak in trouble. Gets it back to Yurkowski. Yurkowski just goes to the basket. Tie up. No jump ball call. He's still out of control. Yurkowski, though, goes up for the shot and gets fouled. It's three on BDS. See who they give that one to. Cameron Owens just picked up his second. A couple substitutions coming for BDS. That's the line. Gets Carter Yurkowski. Shoots 64% from the free throw line. Planks that one first. Bigger part in 66. Easton Weber comes in for the Eagles. And Zach Coins comes back in. Easton Weber's absolute beast. Subbed in for Tanner Bolte, another certified beast down the paint. There's Yurkowski. Shoots 66% from the line, goes 0 for 2. Coins steps short corner, fires up the shot. Rebound long by Owens. Comes High Plains, up the floor, down seven. Over in the corner with it is Sperling. Swinging around, Owens decided to keep it himself, will hand it off to Sperling. Screen set by Yurkowski. Goes to the free throw line. Owens sends a player to the floor. That was Easton Weber who slipped. Shot was no good. And Jaron Norrer will bring it up for the Eagles. Under three minutes to go in this first quarter, 12-5 is the score. Set coins. Back over to Norder. Points, pump fakes. Around the horn. Goes the Eagles, it's a two three zone right now for High Plains. They're bringing the corners up high if needed as the floater goes down for Eli Weber. He has nine already for the Eagles and they're up 14 to five over High Plains. Helgoff, just over to Owens on the left side. Waits for a couple players to screen around, looking for Helgoff on the back side where they get to Yurkowski at the Top of the key, now Helgoth, right wing. Waits for Lisak, now back to Helgoth. Oh, beautiful play to Yurkowski on the back side, and he gets the lay in to go. What a play to get Yurkowski open with a couple screens on the back side. Brings it back within seven, driving toward the basket is BDS, and getting the lay in up and in is Easton Weber. That's Cam Hoynes who set that one up. I mean, beg your pardon, Zach Hoynes who set that one up for the Eagles. And they're back up by nine. Lisak in trouble. Trying to get Helgoth open the right wing and they do get it to him. Right wing's waiting for a screen for Owens. Koski's just standing at the top of the key. He rolls to the backside. Lisak gets over to your Koski now at the right left wing and he gets reached in on when he takes off on the drive. So it'll be four on BDS. So Stengel has first. You gotta remember for BDS, they did play late last night against Exeter Million as Tanner Bolte comes back in for the Eagles. That was a win. Pass goes through the hands of Helgoth. He's able to tap it back in. Yurkowski barely keeping it in the front court. He got over to Sperling. Yurkowski at the free throw line. Back to the basket. Case it back out to Lisa. Yurkowski, right wing. Block is called before a travel is called. It's gonna be five on BDS already. With a buck 17 to go in this first quarter. Fouls on Easton Weber, his first. Five on BDS. Trying to get in his Owens. He barely does the Helgoth. Zach Owens tried to get to guard him and push the player off. No foul called. And now setting up the offense to be Hayden Helgoth. Swing for a couple screens. Lee Sack now the left wing. Gets a screen from Sperling. Sperling rolls. On the pop out, skipped over to Helgoth at the right wing. It's a screen from Yurkowski. Yurkowski just threw a shoulder and bailed out. Sets a back screen. He's trying to set one for Owens. Does get out to Owens at the right wing with 45 to go. Owens trying to get clear in order, but get out, got out to Yurkowski. Yurkowski guarded by Easton Weber. Floater goes up and in. I didn't think that I had a chance when he first shot it, but it went down. It's back within seven. Easton Weber kicks it back out to Norder. 20 seconds left. He jumps to the free throw line, kicks it back out to Zach Owens, and BDS will call it off. 15 on the clock. They'll wait for one shot, 2 3 zone. This is actually as good of a look as you're ever going to see a 2 3 zone if you're tuning on subscribe.tv backslash CRC. Sets thing on the right wing. They get it to Norder. 
Back over to Stengel, five on the clock. Stengel just fires up an NBA range. That doesn't touch anything but rolls out of bounds. They're gonna leave six tenths of a second left on the clock for High Plains. It's gonna have to be quick. BS smart, they guard the inbound. They do not need anyone to guard the inbounder as he cannot move. They do get it into Helgoth, who just flings it up and barely lands at the free throw line. And that'll do it for the first quarter. BDS rolling early, 16-9 over High Plains. We'll be back in a minute for the start of the second quarter here on Max Country. Bruning Grain and Feed, your full-service elevator, serving your grain and fertilizer needs. Also, custom blending your livestock feeds. Bruning Grain and Feed, where great service and quality are number one. Assisting our customers in achieving maximum net return per acre since 1976. Plain talk, exceptional results. That's what you get at Norder Supply, your local independent full-service agronomy specialists. CRC Volleyball coverage is brought to you by Strobel Energy Group, Strobel Manufacturing Incorporated, Top Game Industries, The Meat Hook, and Studio G Photography by Shelley Garrett. Central Valley Ag, your local cooperative, focuses on helping you select the best products and services for your operation. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, growing agriculture together. Funk Medical believes that home medical equipment should enhance your quality of life, not add headaches to a tough situation. Check them out at funkmedical.com. Funk Medical says good luck to all area athletes. Ten. See Cridal Enterprises, your participating independent American Standard Air dealer. Call 362-2500 today. Cridal Enterprises, a name you can trust. City Auditorium, BDS leads high points 16-9 after the first quarter. Chase Thompson along the ride with you this afternoon as we're nearing the 3 o'clock hour here on 104.9 Max Country KTMX live here on the air for the boys' action today in the CRC, 2023 CRC. High Plains will get the ball to start the second quarter. Chase Owens will inbound it to Hayden Helgoth. Helgoth, Scar Yurkowski to his left. He gets it back over to Owens. Mario Lisak out there as well, along number 23, Brody Sperling. I play this really only sub once. In fact, yeah, it's only been one player, and it's because of Aiden Hans with two fouls. Pass tries to get down the post for Sperling on a post touch, tipped out of play. I play this little inbound and underneath the basket, Chase Owens. Be the ones, be the one with the honors. Waits for a player to get out. That's Yurkowski. Goes to the free th uh, three-point line. Gets it, gets it right back. Helgoth. Go up against the man-to-man -man defense from BDS. So Yurkowski. Does the best. Kicks it out. Pumping and sprilling. Gets Bolte in the air. Three ball coming. Step back. No good. Rebound. Grab by Zach Coins. Darren Norder brings it up. Kicks it over to Zach Coins. Back over to Norder who's wide open from the left wing. Three. That's off the front of the rim. Rebound. Caught on the backside by Sperling. Brody Sperling will bring it up. Gets it over to Yurkowski. Now the free throw line is Sperling back to the basket, spins around, goes around, to go over, Bolte and a foul is called. And it's going up for the shot with Sperling. That's six on BDS. Both Zach and Cameron Hoynes now have two fouls for the Eagles. So the line goes Sperling. First free throw is Pierre. I'd like to thank our sponsors for the 2023 CRC Midwest Bank and York Advanced Services in York, Weaver Pharmacy, Cradle Enterprise, Horizontal Boring and Tunneling, Fortify Group, York Medical Clinic, and Oliva Insurance. Second free throw is no good by Sperling. It's cleared out by BDS, up by six. In trouble with his Carson Luce. He gets it over to Jaron Norder, 2 3 zone. Arms up high for High Plains Norder with, at the left wing. Gets it over to Eli Weber, who dribbles to the short corner, backs out to Norder, now back to Weber. Eli Weber gets it to Norder, now around the horn to Luce. BDS trying to get inside, but the length of High Plains is creating problems, and Yurkowski is that length. He's going toward the basket, laying up and good. Four-point game. Timeout. Dan Boshart. A full timeout. We'll join them here on Max Country. Only top quality USDA choice meat, the freshest produce in town, plus they carry your groceries to your vehicle. Bruning Grocery is your small town supermarket located in downtown Bruning. This is Byron of the Byron Wimmer Agency, located three miles south of Utica, 
We insure homes, auto, farm, mm-hmm. livestock, and crop. Give us a call to see what we can do for you. Nutrient Ag Solutions is the world's largest provider of crop inputs and service, helping growers increase food production in a sustainable manner. Profit from their experience. Nutrient Ag Solutions in Davenport 30. and Edgar. Working with a channel seedman to understand your growing conditions is the best way to select channel products for better yield potential. Call your local channel seedman, Blake Stengel, with Variety Ag in Shickley today. Get your car or truck repaired right the first time at Lavander's Body Shops in Grand Island, Hastings, St. Paul, North Platte, Kearney, York, Omaha, and their newest location in Ten. Seward. Be sure to visit Southeast Valley Irrigation and Brewing for all of your Valley Pivot needs. Or call them today, 402-353-6775. Full time out, thinking about BDS. High Plains is on a 3 0 run to begin the second quarter. 6.22 to go in this first half. BDS will get the ball as we like to thank Nick's Farm Store, East Butler Athletic Boosters, Al Swell, Drilling Brooding, Grading Feed, and Heather Ramsey with ARC Group of Brooding for coming on board for the 2023 CRC. BDS with the ball. Skip pass over to Northern New Orleans on the bench of High Plains. Norder recovers. Gives it out to Zach Hoynes. Hoynes back over to Norder. Norder trying to get it down the bowl to you and reach it. Foul called on from behind on Mario Lisak. That's four on High Plains. It's first. Layshock, I beg your pardon. Layshock with his first three ball coming out of the inbound. By Cameron Hoynes, rebound by Bolte. Bolte missed it. Another rebound for BDS, and that goes down. By Eli Weber, a third chance opportunity for BDS. Weber with 11 points already. It's all scores. Layshock kicks it over to Yurkowski. Gavin Morris, who's out there for the first time. Seventh player, will now eight players for High Plains that have played so far as Raul Morrow comes in for the storm. Marno. it over to Owens, tries to dump it to Yurkowski, goes through the hands of a BDS player recovered though by Hoynes. Hoynes kicked it up to Zach Hoynes. There, Bolte goes up, gets fouled. Going up for the shot, it'll be Yurkowski's second. Five on high points. And Tanner Bolte will go to the free throw line. And BDS is winning, it's a lot of times because of Tanner Bolte. He's a very aggressive player. He's to be honest, just a flat out pain in the butt to play against. With Brody Sperling and Aiden Hans come back in for high points. Or Yurkowski goes to the bench. Second free throw for Bolte off the front of the rim. It's tipped. Long rebound. Bolte gets it. He hands it off to Hoynes. Tries to find help in the corner. Eli Weber gets it back out to Cameron Hoynes. Weber. Tries to get it down oh, to the Norder. Norder nearly reached after the steal. Who up the floor? Morris goes up and lays it in. Gavin Morris with his first two points of the game, bring it back within five. Said in this pre, like I said in my pregame, I think this game's going to be a, a very interesting battle. Zach Owens goes to the basket, gets reached in on, going up for the shot. You go in line for two. These two teams haven't played each other yet this year. They do play in Polk on February 10th. Nayshock just picked up his second. That's six on high planes. Zach Hoynes goes to the free throw line. Swish home the first. This is the first point of the game. Six point lead for the Eagles. BS team. I mean, it's a s- semis last year's CRC. They lost to Cross County. Before getting third, before winning the third place game. By the way, Hoynes went two for two from the Lions back to a seven point lead. Hans, in the corner, gets it to Layshock. Layshock goes up, misses a shot. He was near the rim, rebound by Zach Hoynes. Got it up to Cameron Hoynes. Now Norder, Norder skips it to Eli Weber on the backside. Weber, one dribble, goes up, missed, and fouls Layshock from behind. It'll be a one-on-one upcoming for Mario Layshock. It's a one-on-one, yep. Head official catching on, that is a seventh foul. 
on BDS. So it'll be a one on one for Mario Layshock. Layshock nearly in time. Easton Weber coming in for Tanner Bolte. Got both Webers and both Hoynes out there with Jaron Norder right now. Actually, is it Norder? So it's, it's, it's Norder. Norder got the rebound. Seven point lead for the Eagles. Norder will bring it up. 2 3 zone for the Storm. Looks for Cameron, gets it over to Easton. Down the paint, getting the shot up and in is Eli. Eli Weber with the bucket. He has 13 points already. We had a 20 piece in the first game. Eli Weber going toward that and lay shot gets fouled and one and drains it and a BDS player, and both of them are getting up slow. Fouls on Zach Coins is third as the trainers are being brought out. All right, shock. Still on the ground. The trainers coming out to attend him. He is moving around. We're going to go ahead and pause for a th quick 30 second break here on Max Country. See Copsa Odi and Associates for tax planning, consultation, and preparation. Okay. Let them help you with account services, financial analysis, or estate and succession planning. That's Copsa Odi and Associates in York. Norder Supply of Bruning, Shickley, and Hebron. For your seed, fertilizer, and chemical needs, call Norder Supply. Serving agriculture for over 35 years. If you're looking for a rotor, a windshield wiper motor, yeah, you'll find it at CarQuest. At Tri-County Automotive, your CarQuest dealer in Henderson, they're always happy to provide you with the highest quality parts. Well, shot goes to the bench. He has one point. Well, actually three after he made the shot. Substitution will come in and take the free throw. For High Plains, it'll be Chase Owens. Owens only made one free throw this season. Second made will make it a six point game. It's 23-16 BDS in the lead. And he swishes it home. Chase Owens finishes off the old fashioned three point play from Mario Layshock. Six point lead for the Eagles. Norder, bring it up, Seth Stengel just came back in. He gets it over to Cameron Hoynes. Hoynes waits for a screen. As Easton Weber in front of him, he gets it over to Seth Stengel. Norder's wide open on the back side. Stengel has to get it to him at the top of the key. Quick pass over to Easton Weber. Easton Weber drives middle, kicks it over to Eli Weber, who takes the deep short corner jumper. Missed short, rebound cleared out by Owens. You know. We're in the point. A lot of contact in the middle. An offensive foul is called on Gavin Morris. It's first at seven on high planes. We shoot him free throws the west of the way unless it's an offensive foul on either side. 305 to go in this first half. 23-17 is our score. Or brings it up, gets over Seth Stengel. It's a man-to-man -man for right now for High Plains. Screen set, Stengel's wide open, three-point line. He gets it over Easton Weber instead. Norder, open left wing. Pump fakes, tries to roll it down to Easton Weber. They skip it out. Easton Weber down the post, going up over Owens and gets the lane to go. Easton Weber now with four. His BDS eight-point lead. High Plains is hanging around as Tanner Bolte goes to scores table. So does Carl Yurkowski and Hayden Elgoff. Pass. Entry pass comes in. Owens gets it stripped off him. It'll be off BDS actually as Mario Layshock comes back in for High Plains. You know, Weber taking a break for BDS. Gavin Morris, Chase Owens, and Raul Moreno. Go to the bench for the Storm. Eight point lead for the Eagles 25 17, 224 to go. Driving middle, Aiden Hans just flicks it up in the air, trying to get a call, some sort of call, but they're going to say it's off him. He's cleared the baseline. It'll be BDS call, BDS ball, with 2.18 to go in this first half. Jaron Norrell will bring it up. 
Sets his feet, gets it over to Cameron Hoynes. Hoynes gets the screen from Easton Weber. It's over to Bolte. Norder now with him on the right side. Drives middle, kicks it out to Weber. Pass over to Stengel. It's nearly picked up by Leishak. But Stengel gets swatted from behind, but a foul is called on High Plains. Very Sperling. This is first, I believe. Yeah, it's first. Say it on high plane to Seth Stengel. The free throw line switches the first. Stengel averages around two points per game. This is the second one. Rebounds tipped up in the air. Fighting for for BDS is Easton Weber. Bakari Yurkowski gets it. Timeout, JT Ham. A full timeout. We'll take a full one with them here on Max Country. Be sure to visit Southeast Valley Irrigation and Brewing for all of your Valley Pivot needs. Hello. Or call them today, 402-353-6775. Okay. Remember Carrie's Restaurant and Catering when hosting your next event. From large to small, Carrie's does it all. Carrie's Restaurant and Catering, just off Highway 81 in McCool Junction. Be sure to visit Southeast Valley Irrigation and Brewing for all of your Valley Pivot needs. Or call them today, 402-353-6775. Axline Lawn Landscape and Tree Removal is happy to serve the greater Exeter area. Check them out on Facebook today, and good luck to all area athletes. It's never too early to start planning for your irrigation season. If your well needs some work, call Tim or Brian at Elf's Well Drilling in Chickley. Call toll-free 888-627-WELL. Aurora Co-op is your go-to resource for better information, better products, and better services. And they're also a proud supporter of area athletes. Check them out at auroracoop.com. For you from New York College, Nebraska Lutheran took down Dorchester 41 37 and a wild one to open up the day in the girls' side of the 2022 CRC tournament. Now, here at the York City Auditorium, High Plains down by nine over to BDS. BDS leading 26 17. High Plains with the ball right now. They get it over to Aiden Hans around the horn to Layshock. Layshock gets to your cost at the free throw line, waits for Lisa to go away and ripping it away from his Easton Weber. Good job by Easton Weber. With that steal, they get up to Darren Norr at the left wing, and he'll bail out with 90 seconds to go in this first half. Nine-point lead for the Eagles. In trouble, Cameron Hoynes skips over in order. Deep three come from Jaron Norr. That's off the front of the rim. He has chances on rebound, but Tanner Bolte gets it. That might have, he might have gotten slapped on the right wrist. They didn't call a foul. Rebound grabbed by Hayden Helgoth. Helgoth skips it up to Hans, who just flings up a deep three. That was in line, but it missed. Weber nearly getting the offensive rebound, defensive rebound, but Layshock gets it himself. He gets two points in, on the second chance. 26-19. High Plains bringing it back within seven. It was a seven point difference after the first quarter. Right now it is a seven point difference in this one. BDS passing around. Stengel gets down to Bolte. Bolte skips it back out. A couple quick passes over to Stengel now, back in the corner. BDS just passing around, making this zone defense work. It's a 2-3 right now for High Plains. We're going to see part of the reason why that they've instituted a shot clock at Class A. BDS does not have to do anything. They get him down to Bolte. They kick it back to Norder and a timeout taken. But head coach of BDS, he was in fact all the way in front of the High Plains bench. A 30 second one for BDS. We'll join him for 30 here on Max Country. See Copsa Odi and Associates for tax planning, consultation, and preparation. Let them help you with account services, financial analysis, or estate and succession planning. That's Copsa Odi and Associates in York. The Shickley Grain Company is a proud supporter of area athletes. There's no stopping when you're dedicated and work hard to achieve your goals. Good luck from Shickley Grain. Ten. For decades, Generations Insurance Group of Exeter has found the lowest rates in the best insurance plans, protecting your cars, home, business, and family. Let them do the same for you. Yeah, for second time out, I think he was ready to call a play after BDS just passed the ball around for roughly 40 seconds of game time. Right there, Seth Stengel will be out there along with Jaron Norr, Cameron Hoynes, Tanner Bolte, and Easton Weber wound out this first half, 15 seconds to go. In order gets over Stengel. High plane just switch back to a man-to-man -man defense. Pass goes down to Bolte. Bolte goes up, gets blocked from behind by Brody Sperling, but they're gonna whistle a foul on Sperling. So they give it to Sperling or another one of the high plane's players. It looked like Sperling. 
It's a second, that's nine on high points. Now Tanner Boltzy goes to the free throw line. Only has a point. Planks the first one off the corner in. Carson Luce comes in for BDS and so does Chase Owens. Boltzy missed two free throws, made one, misses that one. Long rebound by Norder, seven on the clock. Norder skips to loose, but it's picked off by Layshock. Layshock has two on the clock. He just flings it up as the buzzer expires. That doesn't touch anything but the ground, and that'll do it for the first half. BDS up 26-19 over High Plains after the first half. We'll pause for two minutes. When we come back, we'll recap the first half here on Max Country and Strive. Working with a channel seedman to understand your growing conditions is the best way to select channel products for better yield potential. Call your local channel seedman, Blake Stengel, with Variety Ag in Shickley today. For any of your heating and air conditioning needs, call McCool Heating and AC, your Dyke and Comfort Pros, at 402-724-2305. McCool Heating and Air proudly supports area athletes. Milligan at the breakdown. So I want, before we jump into a recap of the first half, I do want to give a couple score updates for you. First, I want to talk about Concordia, who's on the road this afternoon in Orange City, Iowa, at Northwestern. After three quarters of play, the Concordia women's basketball team has a four-point lead over the number 15th team in the country in Northwestern. The Red Raiders are down to the Bulldogs. Concordia leading 50-46 to 46 after the third quarter. Now also another quick scoring update for you. A final score from State College, Pennsylvania. Penn State taking down Nebraska 76-65. The Huskers shot 54% for the free throw line. Again, 13 missing 11. They suffer a tough defeat to Penn State. It's That's that's one that Nebraska has to have, quite frankly, going to State College. It's not the most intimidating environment in the Big Ten Conference, but Nebraska falls to Penn State. It's tough going on the road, but you still got to get that one if you're Fred Hoiberg and group now back here at the half. BDS leading 26-19 over High Plains. Let's jump in the BDS first half stats for you. Eli Weber has 13 points leading all scores. In fact, no one else has more than six from both sides. Easton Weber has four. Zach Coins has four. Tanner Bolte has one made free throw. Cameron Hoynes has two. Jaron Norder has a three ball. And Seth Stengel has a free throw also for the BDS Eagles. They scored 16 in the first quarter. 10 in the second to come up with a 26-point tally. At the half, the Eagles, they just looked like the better team in the first half. High Plains is doing everything they can to hang around, and they have hung around. It was a seven-point deficit after the first, still a seven-point deficit after the second quarter. But BDS was just a better team firing off, and ever since, I'd say, probably four minutes ago in the first quarter, it's been an, it's been an even game between both sides. BDS will go on a two, uh, three, four-point run, so a basket or two. High Plains will turn around and go on 
a run with a basket or two, and vice versa. And we'll just keep, and they've just been flipping it back and forth throughout the first half. High Plains, where they've been struggling is in the foul category. They have three players with two fouls. Mario Layshock, Brody Sperling, along with Kari Rukoski with two fouls. Rukoski with the leading scorer for the Storm with six points. Aiden Hans with four. Gavin Morris with two. And Mario Layshock with five for High Plains. We still have five minutes to go in the half. We'll pause for two minutes. We come back. We'll continue along with the halftime show here on Max Country and Strive. Carlson Irrigation is... BDS team high points 26, 19 as both teams just came out of the locker room. A quick update from the Freeman Center at the half. Meridian leads Giltner 30 to 10 after the first two quarters of action over in the Freeman Center. And the girls action, which is seeing all the girls first round action being played over at the Freeman Center on the College of York, on the campus of York College here at the York City Auditorium Boys Action all day here on 104.9 Max Country and live on strive.tv backslash CRC. Both teams just coming out of the locker room. High points getting their warm-up shots. So is BDS. Let's talk about what we're going to see the second half. I think BDS has to continue with what they're doing. They've been quickly moving around. High points have been bouncing defenses all over the place. Man-to-man, 2-3, We've seen all it all from high points. If BDS stays disciplined, they'll be just fine rolling through this second half. High Plains, on the other hand, they want to get back in this game. They got to hit a couple big shots. Carter Koski, the leading scorer. He only has six, and he's leading the team right now in points with six. He's got to get going if they have a chance to win this game. He, he's their leading scorer, averaging 14.3 points per game, averaging a double-double, actually. He's got to become big for the Storm because I think the battle is going to be won down the post. If High Plains can get take advantage in the second half, they have a chance to come back in if not tie, win this game late. BDS, though, has been able to fend off everything. It's, it's not surprising, though, looking at BDS and what they do, what just how BDS does things between football, basketball, and all sports. They can fend off anything that comes their way. We have 90 seconds to go in the halftime. We're going to take a 30-second break. When we come back, we'll get start, started with the second half here on Max Country and Strive. See Cridal Enterprises, your participating independent American Standard Air dealer. Call 362-2500 today. Cridal Enterprises, a name you can trust. 
Norter Supply of Bruning, Shickley, and Hebron. For your seed, fertilizer, and a, chemical uh, needs, call Norter Supply, serving agriculture basketball. for over 35 years. If you're looking for a rotor, a windshield wiper Ten. motor, yeah, you'll find Ten. it at CarQuest. At Tri-County Automotive, your CarQuest dealer in Henderson, we're always happy to provide game. you with the highest quality parts. Welcome back to the Auditorium 26-19 BDS. Has the lead as we get set for the start of the second half. Looks like BDS will get the ball to start the second half. They're going right to left on your radio dial, wearing their home whites. Yeah, they're giving the ball. They're going to point toward BDS to start the second half. They're wearing their home whites with maroon numbers and black trim high planes. Wearing their road red uniforms. I absolutely love high planes uniforms. Very colorful. Have red with a lot of blue trim and stripes. White numbers with blue trim as well. BDS is going to come out with Seth Stengel, Jaron Norder. Cameron Hoynes, Tanner Bolte, and Eli Weber. High Plains, you get whoever's out there for you in here in a moment as BDS goes down the paint quickly, getting fouled and drain the basket is Eli Weber. He has 15 now for the Eagles. As High Plains for the second half is coming out. Payne Helgoth, Aiden Hans, Mario Layshock, Brody Sperling. We can see another number. As Weber drains the free throw. That's number 33, Kari Yurkowski. That was on Layshock, his third. It's the first on High Plains in the half. Layshock, the right wing, waits for a couple screens to roll around. It's pass is caught, though, by Norder. It's a steal for BDS. They're up by 10. 16 points for Eli Weber and the Eagles. They get in and set Stingle inside the paint. Jumper goes strong, rebound to Layshock. Skips it over to Helgoth, and High Plains will set up their offense. Man-to-man -man defense for BDS. Life shot. Waits for a screen to come up high. Hans at the top of the key. They get it to Yurkowski. Yurkowski, step back jumper. Good. That was pretty. Carter Yurkowski with his first points in the second half. Brings it back within eight. I think he's going to be big. Get it down to him and let him go to work. He averages 11. He's going to need more than that. As Volte backs down his defender, kicks it out. Around the horn goes BDS. That was great passing there by the Eagles. Stengel has Bolte backing down his defender. He actually is putting his forearm into B. Sperling. Bounce pass over to Eli Weber. He tries to get out to Norder. Almost went away, but Norder is able to gather. Jump stop, slip toward the ground, and a foul is called on high planes. Norder's getting up. Looks like he rolled his ankle just a touch. And Hans just picked up his third. That's two on high planes in the half. He's inbounding it. Will be Stangle. Kicks it out to the top of the key. Three ball coming for Cameron Hoynes. Bounces off further and Bolte with the rebound, laying up and in. Bolte with his first field goal of the game. Makes it back to a 10 point lead. Bring up his Helgoth. Waits for a couple screens to go. Hans has it at the right wing. Screen set for him by Sperling. Takes the three and drains it. And Hans with this first three ball of the game. Brings it back within seven. It's been hovering around a 10 to seven point margin the entire game after BDS started off hot. Driving inside the middle. Stangle gets it stripped from behind Hans. Now brings it up, loses control of it. Stangle slipping in. There's a shoe on the floor. And the officials are going to blow it dead. BDS did have possession, so they blew it dead. Didn't think there was any clear possession to anyone at that point. They blew it dead as Maddox Furman comes in for High Plains. He becomes their ninth player to come in this game. He's in order, brings it up, hands it to Hoynes. Backdoor pass to Nordery. Who gathers, kicks out the sting on three ball upcoming. That missed off the other end. Bolte got a hand on that. Rebound cleared out though by High Plains. Holgoth gets it over to Layshock. Layshock dribbles once and kicks it back out to Helgoth. Helgoth dribbles between the legs, tries to go by Hoynes. He hands it off. Pick it up his dribble as Furman. Gets it over to Helgoth. Helgoth no looks it out to Yurkowski. Koski goes and gets the basket to go. Koski now with 10.
Got a five point game. Yurkowski, the last four points they get. BDS gets down to Bolte. Bolte kind of walks, but flings it up as he walks. No travel call, the shot went down. It's back to a seven point lead for BDS. So Helgoth brings it up, gets to Furman. Furman fakes the handoff, deep three coming from Hans, and it hit off the front rim. He was hot. Well, he felt hot after that first three, how it went down. Missed that one, rebound grabbed by Hoynes and the Eagles. Pass over to Norder. Now Stangle. Eli Weber, short corner, back to Stangle at the left wing. Cameron Hoynes, top of the key. Norder gets it down to Eli Weber, kicks it back out to Norder. Three ball coming, that's in line, rimmed out though. Rebound. It's tipped out of play off the Eagles. It's Chase Owens. Reported to the scores table and checked in for the Storm. Seven point lead, Eagles on top, 33-26 with 4.10 to go in the first half. Owens drilling a bunch, telegraphs the pass to Hans, Norder with the steal and lays it up and on the right side. Jaron Norder now with five, it's back to a nine point lead for the Eagles. Elgoth. So I feel like if High Plains can get it within five, this game is going to change. Until then, BDS has control. JT Hand crouched in front of the High Plains bench, watches his team go to work. Max Furman gets it over to Helgoth, back down to Furman. It's looking for your caskets. Slapped away, though, by Eli Weber. They'll stay with High Plains on their offensive end for a baseline out of bounds. Or baseline inbound. Hans will inbound it. He gets it in your cost. He's in a position to make work happen. Missed it. Rebound by Hans. Turns around. Missed. Another opportunity for Hans. He missed that one. Also tipped wildly in the air. And it's caught by Seth Stengel. Gets stripped from behind by Hans. Hans goes to the basket. Reverse layup up and good. That was a really fun play to watch. And JT Ham with a timeout. A 30 second one. We'll stay here at the York City Auditorium. BDS leading 35-28. As we like to thank our sponsors, Shickley Grain, Jensen Lumber Company, Hits Towing, Bombsberger Welding, Cross County Booster Club, Cossack Milling, Milligan Family Medicine, Nutrient Ag Solutions, Heritage Realtors, Carriers Restaurant and Catering, and Edgewater Insurance of Shelby for coming on board for the 2022 CRC. We got a boys action all day here from New York City Auditorium, McCool Junction and Dorchester up next here on Max Country, McCool Junction. They got a really young and powerful team. Carson McDonald, the younger brother of one of Michael Johnson's best all-time players, and Owen McDonald. He's only a freshman. I can't wait to see what he can do at the York City Auditorium upcoming. That'll be next here on Max Country and live on strive.tv backslash CRC. Click on the York City Auditorium stream and you'll be live with us here. On Max Country and Strive, Jared Norder brings it up. It's a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Fox and one. Actually, it's a 3-2 for High Plains. Skip pass over to Stengel and makes the right short corner. Jumper, go down. His first field goal of the game brings it back to a nine-point lead. Helgoth brings it up, kicks it over to Hans. Waits for a screen by Yurkowski. Yurkowski rolls, stays at the three-point line. Handoff went to Helgoth. High point, taking their time, calling a play. Furman, Maddox Furman at the free throw line, kicks out to Yurkowski. Yurkowski decides to drive right into a bunch of eagles and draws a foul on BDS. That's the first of the half for them. See what's on. As Jacob Beavers comes in. It's on Seth Stengel. His second is Jacob Beavers. He comes in for the first time this game. Averages about a bucket a game. Pass comes out to Owens. He ends it off to Helgoth. Koski waiting for a play call. He'll go set it up at the free throw line as Hayden Helgoth. Kicks it over to Furman. Furman waits for help. Hans wide open, gets the lay in to go. That was a beautiful roll off a screen by Hayden Hans to get the wide open layup. Seems like when these teams are patient right now, they get easy open looks, but they speed up. And they're having to take tough shots. Norder nearly gets stripped from him at the logo. Beavers does get stripped from him, but recovers. Helgoth guarding him. He gets it back 
to Norder. Norder bounce pass over to Beavers. Beavers pump fakes, steps inside the three-point arc, misses the shot. Loose ball tipped up in the air. Multiple players recovering it is Beavers. Norder picks up his drill, has Stengel wide open on the backside, goes through his hands and onto the stage. It'll be High Plains ball. Brody Swirling coming in for the storm. Maddox Firming giving High Plains a good five minutes of action. Still a seven point difference. The Eagles in the lead, 37-30. Owens has the Nordfeld in the ground. He's guarding Hans. Koski, top of the key, pass over to Helgoth. Helgoth waits for help. The screen being set, multiple screens. They're fine. Koski on the backside. He's open, but a foul on the floor happens before it got to your Koski. That was a good foul by BDS. It's on Easton Weber, his second. That was a really good foul by Weber. Inbound pass bounces through the hands of Sperling. He recovers, gets it back out to Hans. On, skips it to Helgoth. Has the cool junction players sitting behind me to go to the locker room. They're up next against Dorchester. Rakoski, the right wing. Waits for some help as we have a minute to go in this third course. Third course flown by Sperling. In trouble, gets it over to Helgoth. Now back over to Owens. Owens drives middle, kicks it back out to Helgoth. Helgoth dribbles inside the arc. Gets it to Sperling. Sperling tries to drive in. Three ball coming for Helgoth. That's off the front of the rim. Rebound corralled by Eli Weber. Seth Stingle collided with the official. As he fell out of control after the rebound and dribbles it off his right thigh. And timeout is taken by BDS. A 30 second one. We'll go ahead and pause with him since we haven't stopped yet this quarter here on Max Country. This is Craig Yurkowski with Ag West Land Brokers. I'm excited to be a part of the Ag West Land Brokers team. With over 25 years being in production agriculture, let me put my experience to work for you. Carlson Irrigation is in the business of solutions, and teamed with Ranky Solutions are what they deliver. Ranky, more right than rain, and Carlson Irrigation, your local irrigation solutions expert. Dan. Only top quality USDA choice meat, the freshest produce in town, plus they carry your groceries to your vehicle. Bruning Grocery is your small town supermarket, located in downtown Bruning. 37-30 BDS leading high points, 27.5 to go in this third quarter. As we'd like to thank Crossroads Awards, Perennial Public Power District, Grand Central Foods, Stutzman Interiors, Annie Jeffrey Hospital, Edgewater Insurance in Osceola, Fillmore County Hospital, Midwest Bank in York and Advanced Services in York for coming on board for the 2023 CRC. BDS most likely is going to run one play. They pass it around, so we'll also like to thank Weaver Pharmacy, Credit Enterprise, Horizontal Boring and Tunneling Fortify Group, York Medical Clinic, Oliva Insurance, and Nick's Farm Store for joining us for the 2023 CRC. BDS is now running a play. Zach Coyne skips over the corner, North skips it to the top of the key. Three ball coming for that is. Draining it is Zach Hoynes, and that'll do it for the third quarter. As BDS leads by 10, 40 to 30 after three, a deep three taken by BDS to take the 10 point lead going to the fourth quarter. As we'll pause for a minute and get set for the start of the fourth quarter here on Max Country. We'll be back in 30 here on Max Country. Back 
to the York City Auditorium. 40 to 30, BDS in the lead after the third quarter. Sorry about that. We're back live here at the York City Auditorium. High plane still inbounded. Down 10. Mario Layshock drives baseline, gets the layup up and in to go. Mario Layshock now at seven, brings it back within eight. As we get set for the start as we're in the fourth quarter. Bringing it up is Zach Hoynes. He drives for the basket layup, up and good. Ten point lead for the Eagles. With eight, with seven and a half to go. Layshock waits for a couple screens to happen. Yurkowski sets one and gets at the top of the key. Now Mario Marino with the left wing. Waits for some help as Yurkowski kind of on the back side. Deep three just flung up by Hans. It rims around halfway down. Looked like, a to looked like a toilet bowl that rimmed out. That'll be back to BDS. Maddox Furman comes in. Also, I'd like to thank East Butler Athletic Boosters, Alfs, Alfs Well Drilling, Bruning, Graydon Freed, Heather Ramsey with ARC Group of Bruning for coming on board to 2023 CRC. Nord has it gets trapped, skips it over to Cameron Hoynes, gets to Zach Hoynes at the free throw line, kicked it, kicked it back out to Norder. Norder drives inside the paint, goes up for the shot and gets fouled. Aiden Hans with the foul, that's three on him. That's three on high plane. It's been a very clean second half between the two sides. At the line, Jaren now Jaron Norder goes to the free throw line. He has five so far this game. Make it six. As Gavin Morris comes back in for high planes. 6.58 to go in this fourth quarter. BDS leading by 11. It's been a seven point difference for the most part of this game. This is the difference now goes to 12. BDS, it's gone on a five nothing run to start the quarter. Reno brings it up, gives it over to Layshock. Well, Layshock waits for a couple screens to happen. He skips it over to Furman. Furman at the left wing, guarded by Tanner Bolte, and gets it back to Moreno. Waits for a couple people to move. Just a couple of hand signals as well. Gets it over to Furman now at the free throw line. Going up for the shot is Gavin Morris, who he banks it home. Gavin Morris banks it home, brings it back to 10. High Plains with the loss, plays Alba on the 28th of January. He's taking the three and missing it long. Was Cameron Hoynes. Here comes High Plains quickly. Layshock draws contact, missed. Rebound grabbed by Eli Weber and a whistle. I'm gonna say Weber stepped on the baseline, so it'll be High Plains ball with six minutes to go in this one. Layshock will inbound it. It's for a couple screens. He tries to get into Yurkowski. Ball, loose ball on the floor. Yurkowski's on the floor and a whistle from behind. I think they're going to give a foul to Eli Weber. It's his second as JT Ham calls a timeout. We'll go ahead with him. A 30 second one here on Max Country. Beesh. So five to go, BDS leading High Plains in this one. The winner will take on the winner of our next game between McCool Junction and Dorchester. That follows this game here on Max Country. BDS, by the way, if they happen to slip up and lose, they'll play Osceol on the 31st of January. Inbounding it is Gavin Morris. He kicks it out to Max Furman. Furman skips to the top of the key with Marino. High Plains has got to pick up the pace if they want to have a chance to beat BDS. Rakoski, now Marino, left wing. Gets it tipped away from him by Cameron Hoynes, recovers in the corner, dribbles right past Hoynes, tries to skip it out to Layshock, but it's tipped out of play by Zach Hoynes. 
We'll stay with High Plains with 5.42 to go in this one. Aiden Hans coming in for High Plains along with Brody Sperling and Seth Stengel comes in for BDS. Inbounding is Hans. He gets it over to Morris who finds a wide open lane to the basket and lays it in. It's back within eight. It's a one, two, two trapping zone right now for High Point. Stengel dribbles inside the arc, picks up his dribble. He's in trouble. It's down the paint and a timeout is taken by BDS. I believe they got only falls left. Oh, a 30 BDS still has. We'll go ahead and take a 30 with them here on Max Country. For decades, Generations Insurance Group of Exeter has found the lowest rates in the best insurance plans, protecting your cars, home, business, and family. Let them do the same for you. What's that? Call Rex Pettigrove of McCool okay. Heating and Air at 366-5725 for your new heating and air system or for repairs on your existing unit. McCool Heating and Air. Milligan Family Medicine and Dr. Scott Vondervecht is proud to offer professional primary care to the community and accept most major insurance. Good luck to all area athletes. See Copsa Odie and Associates for tax planning, consultation, and preparation. Let them help you with account services, financial analysis, or estate and succession planning. That's Copsa Odie and Associates in York. Do you need to upgrade or expand your on-the-farm grain drying and storage system? Then you need to visit with the grain drying and handling experts at Northwest Agri-Systems of McCool Junction, helping you take control. Trans Stedner Incorporated in Hampton has been hauling cattle, gas, diesel, propane, liquid fertilizer, and more consistently and reliably since 1976. Oh, welcome back to the York City. I was running BDS stacks out of 30s. That's what I had written down, that BDS is out of 30s and only had two full timeouts. So they still have one full timeout. High Plains still has two fulls as well. They're out of 30s. So if there's timeout, expect to see a break here on Max Country. The Seth Stengel will inbound it underneath the offensive basket for BDS. Gets it in. Eli Weber goes right through his hands and stolen away by Mario Leshak. Leshak bails off the fast break. That was a wise play by Leshak. Again, nothing going. Only a sophomore on this team. It's Hans. Gets it over to Morris. Morris tries to go to the basket by Notary. Underhand layup. Rikoski, second chance, gets fouled. Going up for the shot. Didn't see who it was on, though, so we'll see here in a moment. It's on Cam Moines, his third. Whereas Yurkowski goes the free throw line. First free throw, good. He now has 11 points for the Storm as they have it back within seven. It's Hayden Helgoff comes in for High Plains. Second free throw. Good as well. Six point game with five to go. As a 1 3 1 zone comes out for High Plains. In order, finds help on the backside. That's Eli Weber. Weber goes up, misses the shot, tipped around, lands on the baseline. They're going to say it's off Weber, though. The BDS fans behind me won that to go the other way as Aiden Hans comes back in for Hayden Elga. Lay shot. We'll bring it up. Six point game. Can High Plains get it within five? It's been the marker that they have not been able to eclipse the entire game. Pumping is Sperling. He gets over Lay shot. Lay shot's waiting for Morris to roll around. He gets it to Morris, the right wing. Has Hans now at the top of the key. Stengel on Hans. It's the Yurkowski hand back over to Hans. He goes through his hands. It's going to be off BD off uh, High Plains. Getting up slow is Hans. Substitution coming in, Helgoth coming in for Hans. High Plains has been doing an offensive de defense subs already, and we still got halfway to go in half of this fourth quarter to go. Order brings it up, gets it to Hoynes. Hoynes guarded by Morris, dumps it to Bolte. Bolte goes up in the air, layup up and in. Bolte now with seven. Gives BDS the eight point lead. Olgoff gets it over to Morris, waits for a couple screens, has Lay Shock rolling around and has him in the left corner, decides to go to the top of the key with Yurkowski. Yurkowski now dumps it to Helgoth. Helgoth tries to find help on, 
has to find a gap on the baseline, bails out of it. Gierkowski now lays sock at the left wing. Lay shock, dribbles, picks it up. It's the swirling. And driving toward the baseline, Gierkowski gets fouled and drains the shot. Carter Gierkowski drains the shot and has an opportunity to make it a five point game as Maddox Furman comes in. I wonder if we're gonna see a uh, high point start to foul. They still got three fouls to give. It's a huge number to give with 3.38 to go. This free throw will make it a five point game. Misses it, rebound, caught by Cameron Hoynes. He brings it up, gets it to Stangle. Stangle drives the short corner, kicks it out. We'll see if High Plains is willing to foul. And they foul, but it's gonna be two free throws. And it's going up for the shot was Eli Weber. It's on Sperling. That's Sperling's third. Now to the line goes Eli Weber. Game high, 16 points. Yurkowski starting to catch up to him. It's first free throw, no good. Two substitutions coming in. Chase Owens and Aiden Hans. Back to the line goes Weber. Missed the first one. BDS could really use the second one to go, and he does make it. He has 17. It's back to a seven point lead. This seven point margin has been the story of the game. Been hovering here the entire time. As Jarkowski has at the free throw line, left free throw line, goes inside the paint, tries to set up shot, miss, rebound, jumped up and grabbed by Norder. He clears out. See if High Plains starts fouling early. He got three minutes to go in this one. Seven point lead for the Eagles. Norder kicks it out. Bump in his horns. He knew he traveled with it because he got ahead of himself. He got over to Stangle. Now Norder at the top of the key, just foot on the three point line, driving middle. Jump shot taken by Cameron Hoynes and it drops in. He has, by my count, four. 49 40. Driving around is Furman. Furman falls to the ground. He's able to get it out, though, to Sperling. Kicked out over to Hans. He takes the three. That's in line, but strong. Rebound on the backside by Eli Weber. 2.20 to go. Norder brings it up. Lay shock. Just reported to the scores. Taylor coming on the next stoppage of play. Norder kicks out to Stangle. They're trying to get it down to Bolte. It works. They kick it out to Cameron Hoynes, who drives inside the paint, gets a shot block from behind. Stangle over in the corner grabs it, drives middle, shoves it to Eli Weber who gets it over to Cameron Hoynes. Under two minutes to go. Norder drives inside. Floater just short of the rim. Caught by Yurkowski. It's tipped up in the air. And Weber with the steal. Cast it over to Hoynes and Norder will have it. And BDS is going to be content with letting the clock tick away. Points back over to Norder. The defense chant will not matter because BDS is going to waste the clock. JT Ham, looking at him right now, is not yelling foul yet, and he's going to have to as we have under 80 seconds to go. Now he yells foul. Stangle in the corner gets reached in on. So that'll be five on high planes. I question why he waited so long given that they still had three fouls to get before BDS goes to the line. And that'll be number five on Aiden Hans. That'll do it for him. Nine points for Aiden Hans. Aiden Helgoth and Gavin Morris come in for High Plains. Got a minute 14. We're going to see High Plains foul immediately as Seth Stengel looks to get it in. He does get in the Bolte. Bolte, right by Yurkowski. He's had a gap if he wanted to take it. And Owens grabbing the shirt of Cameron Hoynes for about two or three seconds. Finally gets the foul called on him. That's six. It'll be one more foul. The next foul will actually put BDS at the free throw line. 108 to go. Stengel gets it in to Cameron Hoynes. Owens tried to reach in on him, they didn't call it. 
He still has it, he gets it over to Eli Weber. And now a foul is called on High Plains. No, they're gonna just say it's out of play. I thought that was a foul. Inbound comes in to Nord, he's guarded by Helgoth. Helgoth reaching in on, they finally get the foul called as there's 57.9 to go on the game clock. And Helga is first. As Max Furman comes back in on the substitution. Jaron Order and Helga to the free throw line. He has seven. Make it eight. No substitution for high points coming in. Brody Sperling. Norder back to the line, he just made his first one to make it a 10 point game. We're gonna make it 11, he rims that one out. Rikoski with it, timeout taken by High Plains, a full one, we'll take a 30 here on Max Country and Strive. Husker Crop Solutions is serving growers in Nebraska for their crop insurance needs. Give them a call today at 402-366-4639. Good luck, all area athletes. KGP Yards takes care of everything in your yard, not just grass. They do fencing, landscaping, pest spraying, bagworm control, and more. For all things lawn in South Central Nebraska, go the extra yard with KGP Yards at 402-759-5693. Great people. It's what makes us Nebraska. And what makes Pinnacle Bank proud to be a part of your community. Because we're not just a bank in Nebraska. We're Nebraska in a bank. Pinnacle Bank. Member FDIC. Oh, welcome back to York City Auditorium. 50 to 40 is the score. BDS leading High Plains with 56.8 to go in this game. Chase Thompson along with you this afternoon. Mike Meyer will finish off the night with the last two games. But next up, we got McCool Junction and Dorchester. I'll be on the call for that one. That'll be 20 minutes after the end of this one here on 104.9 Max Country. We're only about 15 minutes off schedule, which is even through two games is really good for the CRC. Well, as far as the concern of how we're going so far, it won't be an 11 to midnight leave time, which is not uncommon here in the CRC. Mario Layshock will inbound it. Chase Owens tips it back to Layshock. 50 to go. Kosky quickly over to Furman. Back to Yurkoski. Ball's loose on the floor. Yurkoski recovers and a foul is called on BDS. It's only six on them, so it'll be a Sideline out of bounds. It's on Cam Hoynes, his fourth. Inbounding it will be Owens for the storm. It's guarded by Norder. Nice shot. A lot of contact. A foul is on, called on BDS. Norder, and he's getting up slow. Did roll his ankle earlier in the game. So it'll be a one and one now for High Plains. Snorris first. Now Maddox Furman will go to the line for a one and one. It's only his fourth free throw attempt of the season coming into this one. He's only made one. Misses that one. Rebound caught by Yurkowski. Kicks it out. Tipped off in order, but it's recovered by Cam Hoynes. Gets the Stangle back to Hoynes. Now Norder, High Plains trying to foul on Owens, commits it. That's eight on High Plains, 31.7 to go in the game. And High Plains will sub a lot of players in. See Nathan Ertzner coming in. I think High Plains is subbing out. Logan Bagwell along with Austin Van Houston. BDS will counter with Easton Weber and Jacob Beavers, along with Carson Luce. I think High Plains, we're seeing, that's exactly what we're seeing is, is High Plains has waved the white flag in this one. High Plains, next up for them, will be on the 28th of January against Alba. BDS has the winner of a cool junction in Dorchester, which will follow us here on Max Country in order. Drains the first free throw. Jared 
Second free throw rims out, rebound caught by Easton Weber and BDS will bail out and let the clock tick away. High Plains is actually yelling for a foul as Logan Bagwell takes manners into his own hands and fouls Jaron Norder. Two substitutions coming in for BDS. Wyatt Ozenbaugh coming in for BDS as Norner's at the free throw line. It's one and one, he rims out the first one. It's tipped up there and drops in. I'd say I'm gonna give that, uh, yeah, if it's not Jacob Beavers, it's gonna be a team, it's gonna be a team bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Beavers. Timeout for High Plains, a full one. We'll take a 30 here on Max Country. Get your car or truck repaired right the first time at Lavander's Body Shops in Grand Island, Hastings, St. Paul, North Platte, Kearney, York, Omaha, and their newest location in Seward. Tim and Kale Palace, Bill Hoffman and Nate Hoffman, your independent pioneer sales representatives, are proud to sponsor local high school athletes. Call them to talk about the industry's best lineup for both corn and soybeans for your farming operation. Your Man. York and Hamilton County crop and farm insurance specialist, Croker and Croker Insurance and Real Estate, is a proud supporter of Husky Athletics. And it was close to being a team bucket, but Beavers was in on the play, so we'll give the two points to him. His BDS is up 13. Levi Kamler, along with Wyatt Ozenbaugh, came in for the Eagles. Eli Weber will finish with 17. Zach Coins with 7. Easton Weber with 4. And Jaron Norder with 9 as well. And High Plains with it now. Owens kicks it over to Ertzner, who misses the three. Rebound grabbed by Easton Weber, and that'll do it. And the Eagles will win, will finish off two straight wins in two days. Defeat Exeter Milligan last night in a regular season matchup before defeating High Plains. Final score, 53-40 here in the first round of the 2023 CRC. We'll pause. For two minutes, when we come back, we'll recap this one from the 2022 CRC. Configuring. defeating High Plains 53-40. BDS moves to 10-7. High Plains drops to 5-9. High Plains is now off for a week and a half. They play Elba at home in Polk on the 28th of January. BDS has the winner of this next coming game between McCool Junction and Dorchester. That game will be played on Tuesday, I believe, at 4-30. Now let's run through the final stats for you. BDS is led scoring by Eli Weber with 17. Zach Hoynes with 7. Jared Norder with 9. Six of those coming as Four of those coming as free throws late in the game. Cameron Hoynes with four. Easton Weber with four. Zach Hoynes with seven. Seth Stengel with three. And Jacob Beavers with two. Again, the Eagles move to 10-7. Take on the winner of Cool Junction and Dorchester, who are now just starting to warm up here in the York City Auditorium. Mario Leshak with seven. Finishing off the day for High Plains. Uh, Gavin Morris with six. Aiden Hans with nine. Carter Yurkowski with a team high of 14. And Chase Owens with the free throw early in this game to finish off the 40 spot for High Plains. Again, they drop to 5-9. and nine. They have Elba coming up on the 28th of January. BDS and will be taking on the winner of McCool Junction in Dorchester, which we will be seeing here in about 20 minutes here on Max, on Max Country. We're going to pause for about 10 minutes. When we, when we come back, we'll have pregame for Dorchester 
Amical Junction live here on Max Country. We'll see you then in 10 minutes on Max Country. This is